hit 100 for the first time. It's still about a week or two away. Uh, it's just been, we've just been hitting hundreds left and right. Look, now we've got a couple pop-ups. Uh, we had a few in LaFleur County earlier today, but now we have a few more in LaFleur County and also a good one in Sebastian County. You guys in Greenwood, I think we're smiling right now in Greenwood. We've got finally a little rain for us. Uh, they're a little bit more numerous around Poto, especially once you head north on 59. If you get closer to Panama, uh, just south of Shady Point, this is very close to the power plant. We're getting a few good downpours there in the northern slopes of Cavanaugh Hill. And then on the other side of Cavanaugh Hill, back towards the south and west, like Worcester, we've got some good rainfall for us too. How we're getting some good rain in the south to Hebner. This will be headed right towards Monroe. Uh, as you head then eventually towards Scott County, we may get a couple of these showers. Hartford, uh, Midland, we're getting a couple of little rain showers too, anywhere around Poto Mountain and Sugarloaf. But a lot of us are not getting the rain. We were just talking about some of these little downpours, and there may be a few more that pop up overnight tonight. So, you know, you may even wake up to a quick rumble of thunder. Hopefully you do. Hopefully it gives you a little rain. But Otherwise, very hit and miss, about a 30% chance. And most of them will be in the mountains and south of the mountains. So in Benton County, even northern Washington County, our chances are a little bit lower. Let's talk temperatures because the temperatures have been the big story for this whole week. But finally, they're going to be just a little bit cooler as that north wind comes in. Look at those streams. Those are showing you the north wind. Uh, this cold front's been crossing the state line for about the past hour or so, and now starting to come into Washington County and Delaware County and Oklahoma. Over the course of this weekend, this front will continue to press south, trying to push some of the hottest air south and some of the most humid air south as well. It's not going to be a cool weekend, that's for sure. It's still going to be very warm, still above average, but at least we won't be just skyrocketing well into the hundreds. We could try to hit 100, but most of us should be in the 90s this weekend as that front continues uh, to drag towards the south. Once again, we've got some of those downpours. Here's your forecast tomorrow. Lots of sun, especially in the afternoon. Some of the downpours that we have right now, they'll continue to bubble up, and there may be even a stray one tomorrow morning, but in the River Valley, we could have the same thing, and then later in the afternoon, we should clear on out. Here's a look at future casts. A few pop-ups overnight tonight, kind of few and far between, and then we should be drying out throughout the course of your Saturday. Here's your 10-day forecast. Uh, we got a couple little Glimmers of hope in this forecast, you know, this weekend, first off, just a touch cooler thanks to that north wind. Uh, middle of next week, we'll get a tiny break, I think, too, as we get into a little bit wetter of a pattern. A few scattered showers and thunderstorms as another boundary starts to move closer. And then the long-term trend is just how July wants to be, back to a lot of heat as we go towards the end of next week. So. That's Low 100s. That's depressing. Over and over. <laughs> it doesn't even over. fit on the graphic. It barely right? does. That, that, that's a problem. That is if the number's too big. Right. Does it really exist? Yeah. Then it shouldn't. Yeah. It should take it off. We were talking during that story about, yeah. you know, what we do with our ACs. And right. you, you said you actually raise yours during the day I to do. kind of combat everything. I, the cost, at least. Trying right? to. Yeah. I don't know if it's working or not. Of course, we had that, save a few that story. Trying. Everyone's yeah. trying to save a few pennies. You know yeah. what I mean? We need it. That's right. All right. Thanks, Matt. Well, we have an update now on a story we first told you about last night at 10 about a kitten rescued from an ATM in Fort Smith. The gray tabby was rescued from the machine by the fire department, taken to Fort Smith Animal Haven. They tell us the kitten, fittingly nicknamed Cash, was dehydrated and hungry when he was brought in. But since then, the shelter says he's been eating and drinking well. Cash, though, weighs just under a pound, so the focus right now is to get his weight up before he gets his necessary vaccines.